Okay, so I'm here at the Tesla Supercharger here in Pompton Lakes, and I'm going to charge my Volvo C40 2022. Let's get to it. All right, so I just got my new A to Z adapter for my Volvo C40. Here it is. I just got it. I have high hopes it's gonna work just fine. It was $160 after a coupon I had from State of Charge. I don't know if it's still available or not at the time of this recording, but there are discounts available for this A to Z Typhoon Pro adapter. And here we go. It is very robust and it's actually quite heavy. So I want to show all the Volvo owners right now how you can charge your electric vehicle, your Volvo C40 or your XC40 using the new Typhoon Pro adapter from A to Z using a Tesla supercharger. Notice or note that this only works for V3 or V4s. So you can't use a V2. I did check with the Android automotive system in the side of the car. As of this moment, it doesn't know that this supercharger will work with adapters. I do understand that there's going to be an update after November 18th, once the official Tesla adapter comes out for Volvo. Uh, but I want to get ahead of it. Um, I've watched some videos from State of Charge and I happen to like the way this one looks and overall functionality. Um, I'll link below in the comments his video on this adapter from A to Z uh, for all the specifics. But I just really want to get, make sure you guys know that you can use this adapter here uh, with Tesla. And at least that's the hope. So let's see how to do it. I did follow, I did read the instructions, so we're going to do it together for the first time. So keep a note, I've already updated my Tesla app to do this with a credit card and such. So let's see, let's follow along together. You're supposed to input the adapter first. Okay, it's in there. And now uh, go to the, super, to the charger, let's grab the charging unit and it just makes it in terms of length I do probably have another foot I can pull back if I wanted to but right now it kind of just works fine so I'm gonna put that let's go to my phone let me grab my phone and we're going to go to the Tesla app I already have it pulled up hopefully you can see that with my credit card. And I'm just gonna click charge here. I am in bay 1A, so I'm gonna click off 1A. It does have a charging fee of 36 kilowatts, 36 cents per kilowatt hour. I chose 1A. The adapter, I don't know why it's marked red, maybe because it's not charging yet. Huh, the call is calling an error. You can see that, so maybe we should pull, unplug it, and actually now my app is saying error. Let's try to fix that. Let me pull it out of the car first. Uh, tough to do one-handed here. I'm gonna put you guys down.
Okay, let's try this again. Charge here. Okay, I plugged it in. It's initializing the charge. The car just went green. Let's see what the car does. And you can see actually right here, it is beginning to charge on my phone. Let's get out of the glare. It's starting to charge. Let's get in the car. And it is charging. That is so great. It's ramping up. 93 kilowatts. Right now, I am the only one charging here at this station. And let's just ramp, let it ramp up. Let's see where it goes. I am at a 44% state of charge. I did come down as far as possible in terms of state of charge. And I didn't put to the car where I was going, so I don't, but I don't think the car preconditioned itself on the way over through Google Maps, but that's okay for this example because it actually does work. It's very exciting. So we may actually be able to use, we're going to be able to use our, our Volvo C40 way more than before between the Tesla supercharging network, albeit it's only version three and version four, um, we may, you know, in conjunction with all other branded supercharging uh, units, that's gonna be a, a big win for us. So it looks like we're topping at about 83 kilowatts for the car. On the app, it's showing a little different. It is showing 79 kilowatts. I'm not really sure what the discrepancy is and why we're not going all the way up to, I guess in theory, the maximum 150. I think this is a big win. I'm really looking forward to being able to use this car way more than just relying on Electrify America, which technically we're still getting free charging from them, which I'll still use while we have the ability to use free charging and using the Tesla supercharging network. Although it's only getting 83 kilowatts, I thought I was hoping for 150 and no one is here that I'd see that kind of level, but it's just good to know that we can charge on this network. So if you have any questions, number one, if you like this content, I know it's kind of like on the fly. I really didn't prep for this, prep for this, but you do see there were some errors I think it was just because of human error. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Share with everybody that you know, and especially all of your Volvo counterparts and friends and family that have electric vehicles by Volvo. Uh, this is really great for us. Uh, one of the few manufacturers that have access to this Tesla supercharging network. Um, and in case you didn't already notice, our charging ports are on the correct side or the same side as Tesla cars. So we're not gonna take up, take up any other parking spots. We're not gonna park diagonally. We're gonna park like any other Tesla would. So we're not gonna be stepping on anybody's toes when we're charging with other Teslas. So that's a big win for both sides of the equation. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.